Here is the story of two brothers. In the beginning of the dance, you will see Judah, born first, when Ephraim, then Ephraim, joined in unity. A division occurs between the two, leaving them with two very different views, seeing only the faults in each other. Judah holds on to the Torah, which was given from the foundation of the world, without the bread of life, Yeshua. Ephraim holds on to the grace of the cross, embracing man's traditions without the stability of the tree of life, the foundation of God's word. The Messiah is praying for one new man, for they know not what they do, positioning both brothers to repent and turn, teshuvah, so that they may enter the holy land as one pure bride in his hand. Although Judah and Ephraim begin to lay down the traditions of man, they both only have half the truth. As the Messiah prays again, this re represents his return to restore the tabernacle of David and to bring the Comforter, the Holy Spirit. Judah and Ephraim partake of the whole truth of God's word and come unified as one stick in Yeshua's hand. We are his people. Entering into the Holy Land, Judah and Ephraim shall dance together again. Ezekiel 37, 15 to 28. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, take a single stick and write on it, belonging to Judah and the Israelites associated with him. Then take another stick and write on it, belonging to Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and all the house of Israel associated with him. Then join them together into a single stick, so that they become one in your hand. When your people ask you, won't you explain to us what you mean by these things? Tell them, this is what the Lord God says. I am going to take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel associated with him, and put them together with the stick of Judah. I will make them into a single stick, so that they become one in my hand. When the sticks you have written on are in your hand and in full view of the people, tell them, this is what the Lord God says. I am going to take the Israelites out of the nations where they have gone. I will gather them from all around and bring them into their own land. I will make them one nation in the land on the mountains of Israel, and one king will rule over all of them. They will no longer be two nations, and will no longer be divided into two kingdoms. They will not defile themselves any more with their idols, their detestable things, and all their transgressions. I will save them from all their apostasies by which they sinned, and I will cleanse them. Then they will be my people, and I will be their God. My servant David will be king over them, and there will be one shepherd for all of them. They will follow my ordinances and keep my statutes and obey them. They will live in the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, where your fathers lived. They will live in it forever, with their children and grandchildren, and my servant David will be their prince forever. I will make a covenant of peace with them. It will be an everlasting covenant. I will establish and multiply them, and will set my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling place will be with them. I will be their God, and they will be my people. When my sanctuary is among them forever, the nations will know that I, the Lord, sanctify Israel. Torah of life and the blessed. 
sing. But do you know that Mashiach has come for you? He has longed to reach out and to gather you. Nachamu ami, yet you can't hear my strange thing. Oh, Yehuda, he is the bread of life. Ephraim, one thing you know, Adonai gave us his only son. Ephraim, you won't let go of Yeshua, the life of the resurrection. But do you know that the Torah was given to you? To be a source of blessing and life to you. Nachamu ami, yet you counted a strange thing. Oh Ephraim, it is the tree of life. This is my prayer for one you met. Restore the tabernacle of David. Oh, Yehuda, partake of the bread of life. Oh, Ephraim, partake of the tree of life. Then as one in his hand will be gathered to the land, reunited in Eretz Israel. I pray for one you meant Living in peace in the Holy Land Adonai, please hear my cry Restore the tabernacle of David Oh Yehuda, partake of the bread of life of life then as one in his hand we'll be gathered to the land reunited in Eretz Israel. Comforting my people, says Adonai. <laughs>